Hello everyone, this is Matt with Amped Outdoors. Today we're going to show you how to connect your lithium battery to your trolling motor and to your charger. So the first thing you want to do is you want to look at the wire for your trolling motor. Just make sure it does not have any frays in it and all your connections are solid as well as free of any type of corrosion. For your connectors, if they are not in new condition, highly recommend replacing them. Uh, with a good marine grade cable. If you are wiring your motor, the, the most important thing to use is a solid four gauge or the, I'd say at least the smallest eight gauge wiring and typically want to use a marine grade cable such as a copper tinned marine cable, same with connectors. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you will take the bolt from your battery and then apply the lock washer. Very important steps to have the lock washer first, the standard washer second. Then I'm going to take my connection here that goes to my charger and I'll put that on. And then the last piece that I'm going to put on this bolt is the trolling motor connection because we want the trolling motor connection closest to the battery because that will draw the most amount of power. Having that close to the battery terminal as possible is very important because you'll notice that electricity will follow the path of least resistance. So having that closer will make sure you have a more efficient system. Once you have that snug into place, a very important piece is to use a small amount of dielectric grease. You do not have to throw this on in globs, just coat all the connections. What the dielectric grease will do, not only help with connectivity, but also whisk, whisk away any water or any type of moisture buildup uh, around your terminal and battery. So it'll keep it corrosion free and a good connection for a very long time. Then you want to tighten this. And I notice a lot of times people hand tighten their stuff. You want to make sure that you have a good tight connection. Use that lock washer to its full advantage and check this connection regularly um, to make sure that it does stay tight with um, sometimes traveling and a vibration, they can come loose. So it's important to have a good solid tight connection. Follow the same steps for the negative side or the other side of your battery and you'll have a good solid connection uh, and, a, and a high performing product for a very long time. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at sales at ampedoutdoors.com. We appreciate you watching this video. Thank you very much. Thank <laughs> you.